grandmother Dottie Campbell passed away at 5.30 yesterday evening. We'll get back to that in a minute. But the biggest move perhaps so far coming from Celine Boutier. Celine going with one club less, seven iron. Also just trying to hit the front yardage. This drawing a bit. It's gonna feed off to the left. This green slopes pretty severely from right to left, specifically on that side of the green. Well, sometimes you can feed that momentum. This is an uphill birdie putt that will move a little right to left. Just has to make sure she hits it enough. So slow uphill. Yeah, good call. Yeah, they're making it look very easy. Hitting a lot of fairways and greens. Trying to get this one nestled in tight. Oh, it hit hard. That first bounce was very firm and no spin. Above the hole, she has to be a little cautious with the speed. And that moved left very quickly. Yeah, trying to putt through the fringe. And Celine Boutier now with her approach shot. After a strong drive, Paige, that just a wedge in. Can't see the surface of the green from where she hit. Oh, she'll be. She knows from Brooks' putt, she needs to hit this extra firmly. Little move to the left. Oh. It looked good for a long time. Playing down towards the Reeds Bay and, and the breeze. Picking up a little bit across from the right. It actually should be helping a little bit as well. That's a seven oh, iron for Celine. Hoping for a good bounce. Well, she got it. She sure did. Yeah. Let's jump up to 14 quickly, Kay, where Booty has got this look at birdie. Trying to make her first birdie on this back nine. Oh, and she's cooled off with the flat stick. And that happens often in this game. The holes are uh, dwindling away. Going with the five iron. Again, trying to hit that front yardage, 182. Drawing this in. This is coming in pretty hot. Yeah, her iron play is the strength of her game. Now Celine Boutier just from over the green. Shouldn't be a problem, Paige, chipping back into the wind. Took the higher route, used that wind to help. Oh. No problem is right, nearly dunks it. Well, oh, if you can't put him in, you try to chip him in. <laughs> Almost a sense of frustration there, but a very easy par. We have to at least get past Jin Young Ko, given the fact that they're three holes ahead. That's a sand wedge. I'm trying to get it to stop. Oh, good shot. And now Butio, might she have learned from Brooke? She should have. Virtually the same putt. Got to play this straight and firm, even though it's fast. Oh, she did. That was a brave putt. Paid off. And that will put her up into second place alone. Now Celine Boutier on the 17th. Taking a lot of time with this pitching wedge. Now fanned it out to the right. Not what she was looking for at all. That is a good 35 plus feet from the hole. Uh, something that is by design. Now Celine Boutier with that birdie putt. So much to try to get right on this putt. Slinging right to left. Oh, and it just straightened out at the end. That was a really good run. 207 yards to the hole. The wind picking up, hurting. 197 to the front, so she's looking to land this about 200. Now oh, she's lost it right, high and right, to the right side of the green. Not that sort of low penetrating shot that she was hoping for. Does Celine Boutier know how this stands, Kay? The manual leaderboard has not been updated. This chip, pretty fast, right to the break. Oh, she was a plenty aggressive with that. So she may still think she's won back. Like she's actually in a three-way tie for the lead. Yes! Never a doubt. Well, she made a tremendous putt at 16 and then a here again at 18.